So here we have the new Tyranids Codex and I'm going to be going over the artwork throughout the Codex and even my opinions on how it looks visually. The front cover is a beautiful piece of artwork and on the back demonstrates the brilliant models that Games Workshop can make and the variety of old and new models that we've had for a few years now. Opening it up, you have this piece of artwork that's been around for quite a while now, and what they seem to have done is put it into black and white and then put purple tints on where all the lighter highlights of the entire artwork would be. So nothing new there. A few pictures of the new models and opening up this two-page wonderful piece of artwork of a Tyranid invasion or all-out apocalyptic war between the Tyranids and some Orcs, which I don't think will last very long. Um, stunning piece of art, um, just absolutely brilliant, all the details of it, showing a variety of different aliens as well, some of the Orc war boss down there, some spores, crone, harpy, hive tyrant, just brilliant. Uh, but going through some of the going through the book you will see artwork that you are used to from the previous codex and stuff like that. This one is I think new, it's showing each phase of a Tyranid invasion from the very start to predata predation, consumption and then assimilation. Lovely little bits of artwork and nice little stories that um, explain in detail what happens to a a world being attacked by Tyranids. Um, I think this piece of artwork is old and what they've done is because it's hardback Tyranid Codex um, all the artwork that was in the previous Codex which was black and white they've now been able to fully print in colour um, and show how the piece of art would have been originally. A nice bit of High Fleet Kraken stories and images from them. Some doomed Eldar from the Iadan craft world or Iandan. Gorgon High Fleet who faced against the Tau going into the second tyrannical war. Some nice stories um, leading into each High Fleet their Leviathan, which was I think the 4th edition codex artwork um, and just different battles that have happened throughout the day this one's quite interesting Tyranids versus Demons on a world where the Demons had no one to support them and the Tyranids had no real biomass they could consume a nice little read uh, a space map which is nice to see. We've seen them over the years though, so it's nothing new here. Um, the third tyrannical war then, going into the more recent stuff. And another double page artwork, a stunning. I think they're Dark Angels um, with their bikes and land speeders, and then we've got their, sta their Terminators in the left hand side, and on the right is their normal tactical marines, which are green but some stunning artwork nonetheless. There you can see a little bit closer it's a High Fleet Behemoth, Behemoth versus the Dark Angels on an Imperial world. And then the fluff section of the codex showing each unit individually describing them their pieces of artwork, which again, a lot of cut and paste from the old codex, but this time with the original colours as intended. Which, I mean, I'm not too fussed about. I know a lot of people are saying it's just, there's not a lot of new artwork, it's all cut and paste, but the artwork is pretty good. And I do really like this colour codex. And then we have the previous Codex's main picture. Some of the weaponry of the Tyranids laid out. 
and then some showcasing of the models showing different high fleet color schemes uh, different loadouts of models like a catalogue of what they've got another two page spread showing Tyranids versus Tau and finishing with these heavy support choices and fast attack choices of the codex and the missiles that come with the crone a nice color codex visually the art is great the showcasing pictures are done to extremely high standard a good colorful codex thanks for watching please subscribe like share comment and i'll see you on the next video